Are you an artist and you want to sell prints online or an artist alley, but you're not quite sure where to go to have your artwork printed? I got good news for you. <laughs> Greetings, people of the internet. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. Welcome to the underground laboratory where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. But today, we're going to talk about where you can go to have your artwork printed. You now, Okay, you know what that means? That means we got mail. Now, I think I know what it is, and if it's not what I think it is, this is gonna be a real short show. But I think these are my prints, so let's go to the Vaculux. As you know, the Vaculux is how we get our mail here in the underground layer, so let's see what we got. All right, as I expected, these are the prints that I've been waiting for. Now, they are quite small, as you can see. They've been dehydrated, because that's the only way we can get them through the vaculex. So we are going to bring these back to actual size with a little drop of water. Okay, see how easy that is? Everything is now actual size, and we can open these, and I am looking forward to that. But first, I want to talk a little bit about some options for getting your prints printed and where I've been going and everything and why I decided to go with a different place and we'll get into where I I got my new prints from and everything but uh, so there's there's a few different places you can go some people print at home and we'll probably do another video on that later on down the road I'm looking at maybe getting a setup where I can I can do my own prints at home some of you guys do that another option that a lot of people do in artist alley is to go to like a Kinko's or something and have color copies made now in Artist Alley, a lot of people are selling fan art, and because I'm not really selling fan art, I don't have the advantage of having characters that people are already familiar with and everything, and to be honest, you can get away with color copies and stuff. A lot of people do if you're selling fan art, because most of the time, people just want the character. They're not really concerned about so much about quality and things like that. But if you want better quality for your fan arts, or if you're like me and you're doing original artwork, you've got to kind of go that extra mile because, like I said, these aren't characters that are just going to fly off the shelf. These aren't concepts that people know. So you got to go a little extra. So that's why I always um, go a little high, more high quality in my prints. So if that's what you're looking for, then this is the video for you. So I have been going, up until this point, I've been going to Costco. Now Costco has, they're basically like oversized photographs. So they're photographic quality, they're archival, um, but they're a little pricey uh, for uh, 12 uh, my, my most my average size print is 12 by 18 that's this size here so a little bigger than your 11 by 17 color copy um, these are luster finish and it's on Fuji archival film very nice um, and at one point when I first started off they were like three dollars which is nice you can mark those up and everything they kind of bumped up the price a dollar so now they're four dollars now um, again a lot of people aren't paying four dollars per print because they're not as concerned with quality. If you're concerned with quality, that's still a good route to go. But I am looking at some other options. Um, and the good thing, the other good thing about Costco is they have like a 24-hour turnaround. Now, of course, if I'm talking about if you're in the United States, because I don't know if they have Costco where you are, or if maybe they don't have it in your area and you are in the United States, so that might not even be an option for you. But uh, what we're going to get into is going to be an option because you can order it online. So anyway, so. That's what I've been using, and uh, I'm pretty happy with the products. And like I said, they got the 24-hour turnaround. So if I'm in a show and I'm running low on a print, um, I can, I can. Well, it might even be less than 24 hours. Actually, I think it is. Um, I can place an order in the next day or later that day. I can get more prints to sell and everything. So that comes in handy. And that's something I'm still going to be using if I run out of the prints that I've ordered. So where did I order for my prints this time? I ordered from a company called Cat Print. Now, if you haven't heard of Cat Print, the thing that really intrigued me about about them is that they offer short run which I, th I don't think there's a minimum order I think you can get like one print um, that might not make sense when you add in the shipping and everything but you can get low run you know short run prints and you can mix and match your different prints. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to get like a, a big, you know, it's not like offset printing where you have to get, get this huge run of all these prints that you may or may not sell. So that's cool. The other thing is they offer custom sizes and um, a lot of printers uh, a lot of places only offer that uh, you know that 11 by 17 I want to go that 12 by 18 and keep everything consistent with the way I've been doing so they offer all kinds of different custom sizes I even like like I showed here I got some super big uh, posters like this this is the one I'm not really sure about we're gonna have to see if this matches up to this um, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So anyway, so we're going to unbox this thing. So let's get down to that. I gotta find my little razor to open this thing. All right, so here we go. 
Man, I love unboxing stuff. I want to be careful. You want to be careful. Obviously, I don't know if the prints are right here, so I'm just going to be real careful opening that. All right, here we go. Let's see. All right, here we go. And so that is because it's cat print. That's sort of a sample. Um, and that's cool. And that's the other thing is they offer these little sample packs. And let me show you. So before I place my order, I got from Cat Print, I asked for this little uh, little swatch palette, I guess you would call it. I don't know what you call it. But these are samples of their printing. And on all kinds of different papers, they've got, they've got some uh, shimmer. F I, it's really hard to show, but they've got this really nice shimmer finish. They've got, where's the one? Here's one that's on like a felt. Uh, yeah, they got all kinds of cool stuff. Where's the one? There was one in here that was like, uh, where is it? I can't find it. Oh, here, here, like a natural color. Can you see that? So that this is really helpful because you can you can judge the thickness. You can decide how thick a paper you want, what kind of paper you want, and then when you print it, you can just choose based on that. So awesome. That's super awesome. All right. So like I said, oh, and this this is cool too. The artist of the month. So they have a different artist of the month, and they send you a little print. That's pretty cool. So that's awesome. Supporting the artist. The other thing that's pretty cool is they're in, an environmentally friendly company, which, you know, as a mad scientist, you don't want to take over the world if it's ruined. So you want the world to be nice. So that's why we want uh, environmentally friendly stuff. And uh, so these packing peanuts and everything are, they're like biodegradable. So I think you can even like eat them. Yeah, it's like, um, yeah, it's melting in my mouth. It's kind of, it doesn't taste the best. Maybe it needs a little salt. That's better. All right, so let's delve into this order. Yeah, see, it's all recyclable, everything. That is super cool. And uh, here are my smaller prints, and we'll open those in a second. And here are my large size print, not my extra large, but my large size print. And some of these are I have on the like shimmer paper. So everything's shrink wrapped, everything looks nice. The corners are perfect, no damage on the corners. We're gonna open these here, and uh, so I'm gonna compare it to this one here. So let me find that particular print, and we can see if we can find that. Okay, so let's pull that out. Oh man, these are nice. These are nice. So as you can see, the one thing about Costco that I wasn't crazy about is it's a little they're a little darker than uh than i anticipated um so i got kind of pretty much the same stock now i'm not crazy about a lot of people think the thicker stock means better quality that's not always the case not that if you got a thicker stock of this all the paper is great um it's it's really good paper but i don't really like the card stock because a lot of people again going back to the kinkos and everything to try to make their stuff look a little better they'll put it on card stock but it's i don't know i'm not crazy about that at least for the large print the smaller prints and we'll get into that i go with a little heavier stock but i wanted this to be similar to this and I'm really happy with the color. It's a lot more true to the original artwork. So that is super cool. Now I want to check out the special prints. All right, so just as a test, I wanted to have some printed on the shimmer paper because it's really cool. It's got kind of like a pearl finish. Oh man, and unfortunately, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I might, I don't know, I kind of like it. I might switch after the after I sell these, I might switch everything to this. That is really nice. I don't know if you could see that shimmer, but that's pretty awesome. Um, so the other thing is they can do, they, they'll do full bleed, whatever you want. Um, I, I just, I'm prefer, I prefer to have a white border around on my prints, even when I was going to Costco where you don't necessarily need that. I still went ahead and did that, so, um, but that is an option. Full bleed is certainly an option. And man, I can't tell you how excited I am about that. Now, there is one thing that I want to check out and we'll get, let me, let me dig up that particular print. All right, so this is, this is my Costco print for a 3D print that I got and it, you know, it uses 3D glasses and everything. But because it gets a little darker, the 3D didn't come out as great. So I'm gonna, that is a little closer to what it should look like. So I'm going to get my 3D glasses out and see how that looks. Oh man, 
if you could only see what I'm seeing now, it is perfect. The other one is way is a little too dark, and the 3D just pops. Man, I am so, I mean, I can't tell you. And the other thing is, um, compared to when I was going before with, with uh, you know, Costco, and I don't want to bash Costco because they, they do great prints. And like I said, I'll keep going back there if I need thing, if I run out or whatever. Um, so that's awesome, but it's a little pricier. So uh, I probably paid half the price that I did. So that is super awesome. All right, so now to check out the smaller prints. These are my small prints. So this is the one, again, this is the one from Costco. It's it's bag, so it's a little shinier than you would expect. Um, but I always, I now these again are sort of that photographic, it's like the, the texture, not the texture, but the, the weight of a photograph is, but I've got this back because the way I display my smaller prints, it shows, I have people flip through them. So it's easier to flip through if there's a back. So I've got the back here. So in this particular case, I did go want to go with a little heavier stock because people are going to be flipping through them. And I want to find that same print. Oh, here it is. Here it is. So I'm not going to have to, you know, invest in extra backings because these are going to be nice and thick. Oh man, that is a nice thickness here. And again, I don't know if you can tell, it's it's way truer to my actual uh, my actual piece, the the colors and everything. Not quite as as you know saturated, I guess. So I, I just can't tell you how excited I am, and. I was really nervous doing this video because I didn't want to like do a video about cat print and then bash them, but they came through for me like crazy. Now this this is the test, cat print. Can you can you improve on what I get here? Uh, now I do oversized prints. Now these are my big prints, and at first I was just kind of doing them as a display because they're bigger, people can see them. I didn't think I would sell that many of them because you know sometimes people just want the artwork. They you know they're not going to pay extra for the larger print. But I was surprised to find out that the larger prints do sell. Um, unfortunately, they they cost a lot more because the way printing works. Anything over 12 by 18, or maybe a little bit more than that, I'm not sure, 13 something, whatever. But anything above that, the, the, the printing cost just skyrockets. It just jumps, because usually it's incrementally as the sizes go up maybe a few cents or whatever. But once you get past that, it just goes, because they have to go with an all new printer. I mean, most printers only print certain size. So if you want something big like this, it's gonna cost you. So for Costco, I'm paying like $20 for, for these prints. So not, not too cheap. Um, um, now these were a little less expensive. They were 18, but they only had one option as far as paper thickness. So I don't know how thick these are going to be. So we're going to check. It said poster, so I don't know. I mean, some posters are kind of flimsy, so I'm a little nervous. But we're going to check this out right here. So let's open this tube and see what we got. Right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Now, obviously, as far as the print quality, I'm sure it's going to be great because it's okay, we're packing peanuts all in this thing, too. All right. Come on. Come on. I'm going to eat those later. Just kidding. That wasn't... I wouldn't recommend eating them. They, okay. All right. Here we go. <laughs> so, let's see. I'm really curious to see how the thickness of these are. If Now, whatever the case is, if these aren't thick enough... Uh, to my liking, it's not going to be a big deal because I think I pay. I think these came out to about 18 bucks, so I'm only saving a couple bucks. So if I have to pay an extra couple bucks to have these, um, at the very least, what I can use these for is just my displays, you know. So, but let's see. No, oh, okay, okay, they came through again. It's it's a nice thick. Wow, it might even be thicker. I was surprised because it said poster. You ever get those th flimsy posters? They're not really, this is definitely better than the average poster uh, that I get. So this is my, I don't know if you can see it. This is my Mech Daddy print. That's one of my newer prints. Um, but man, these are awesome. So I, I'll save a couple bucks on these. And uh, so yeah, Eps yeah, so these are, you know, these are like photo quality paper too. This is uh, an Epson paper. So quality paper all around. The print quality looks awesome. Man, I got it. So, cat print gets two thumbs up for me. It's, I mean, they they really did a good job. So, I'm going to put their information in the uh, in the description so you guys can check that out. And I, I you know, like I said, <laughs> I wasn't sure what to expect, but they really did, uh, they did a bang up job. Everything looks awesome. And I will definitely use them again. I'm just super psyched. 
All right, so cat print comes highly recommended. Uh, the only thing that I would say, I did have a little trouble when I was placing my order as far as the website. It's not, not really confusing. The only thing that I couldn't figure out how to do, and I knew you were able to do it, is for instance, I think I ordered a set amount of each one of my prints. Now, what you're, supposedly what you're allowed to do or what you can do with cat print is say if I want, if I want 10 of one print, or if I want seven of another, or whatever, that I believe you can do that. Now, I've talked to some people, because I couldn't figure out how to do it based on their website. I think it's a, I think it's just a matter of, I guess you've got to call them and, and say, this is what I want to do. So, and I was kind of, it was after hours, and I didn't get a chance to do that, but I hear they have good customer service. They do have, if it is Doreen business hours, I think they're on the East Coast of the United States. Um, which also reminds me when I'm mentioning sizes, I'm talking in inches, sorry, anyone that's not in the US, uh, we know inches here and that's all we know. So, but anyway, so yeah, um, that was a little confusing, um, but I just went ahead and ordered the same amount. But again, uh, you don't have to order these huge quantities and that is just a huge plus. And oh, the other thing is the shipping. The shipping was like super fast. I got a con coming up and uh, I had some stuff come up right before it and I, I've been meaning to order these things and I, I you know, and it was like down to the wire and I they I didn't even have to pay extra for postage I got it like it was almost like within a week which was awesome um, and that and and you can't and I think they do have express shipping so that is also super cool because you know that fast turnaround is everything we order on online so all around I would highly recommend cat print um, if you guys have any questions about printing or anything like that want to know or if you guys maybe you guys have another printer that's awesome too let me know um, leave a comment in the comment section like follow all that good stuff and uh, yeah man as you can see I'm super excited so hopefully um, this might uh, give you guys an avenue of where to go to get your prints and this video is no way affiliated with cat print or anything like that um, if you do want to sponsor my video give me a go <laughs> but anyway yeah I will be definitely using cat print again because everything was awesome and uh, and I've heard that from other people so um, I had high expectations and they definitely delivered so awesome so that's where you can go if you want to have some quality now you can go to other places but if you want to have quality prints printed I would recommend cat print and I will be back so I'll see you guys later that is all hey everyone thanks for joining me here in the art lab there's a lot of other great content on the channel so click that subscribe button and you won't miss a thing if you're an aspiring evil genius visit surfworks.com for all your mad science supply needs and if you want to contact me hit me up in the comment section or follow me on social media I'm looking forward to it I'll see you then